Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Early, a craft doctor. And I'm here with um, a crafter's companion built a bouquet stamp set. So I got this from HSN um, last week. I think last week. Um, and I could have swore I bought this before. But I can't find it anywhere in my stash. I looked through all of my supplies. And I know as soon as I start, I really open this, I'm going to find it. But I didn't have a video on it. So I don't know if I really have it in my stash. But I wanted to show it to you. This is the Build a Bouquet set. Let me see. I, I know I can widen y'all up a little bit without y'all seeing everything on my desk. And so it came, it says 117, but if you look on Crafter's Companion site, it says 118. So I don't know what that extra piece could be. Um, also, when I seen this before, because I've seen these before, they come in four separate stamp sets and not five. So I'm not really sure. Um, so let's get into it. Let's open this baby up so you can see it. I'm hoping that the stamps are as big as they appear, but I don't know. Because I, th is there, no, they're not as big as they appear to me. Um, so this is what we got. Um, let me see. Let me grab a sheet of paper. As I look at these, I remember like this stamp set and I kind of remember this vase, but I really don't remember this set. So I may not have it. I'm, I'm, I may not have it because what I'm thinking of, you know what? I don't have this one because what I'm thinking of is a year of uh, flowers. But this one comes with 117 pieces and the 117 pieces has to be because not only do you get the stamps my light is right there you can see it right here my light is right above this desk but you also get every die to cut out all of your pieces so this is going to make a gorgeous bouquet set no matter what you do with it um piece like this you stamp it in um different colors um these you actually color in the flower the solid ones you color in that actual piece as opposed to stamping it in black like so remember when you're stamping this in or stamping this whatever color you stamp the solids is what it's going to be so let's where's the paper um i have some paper right here um let's use my stamping up because i love the stamping up one because i don't have to worry about my paper um having using a 12 by 12 sheet because i have a case of 12 by 12 because what i did was i went to the paper store i call it the paper store but you buy paper from it and you know cases of paper and i had them cut me 12 by 12 sheets of paper and i bought a case of it so i have a lot of 12 by 12 that i never really get to because it's over there stacked on some other stuff anyway y'all don't care okay so i'm gonna take this stamp and i'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna take this stamp and I'm gonna put it here because I'm gonna make this one, I'm gonna do separate colors of these. You know, I really want to do, let's, Let's take the greenery. Let, you know what? Let me not do that. What I'll do is I want to stamp this multiple times 
So I'm going to take this stamp and I'm going to move this out the way and put this stamp right here. This is a method to there's a, there's going to be a method to my madness. I'm going to put this right here because I need this one a couple of times. Okay? So let's see what color do we want to make this? Let's make this a pink. I'm reaching over to my uh, Harmony Quick Dries. Okay. My little hockey puck. Oh, they stamp pretty good. I did miss a piece right here, if you can see that. So let's make it a little darker. So that is super cute. And then I'm going to just move, move my paper up. So that way, I don't have to worry about it. Yep, that looks good. That's beautiful. That stamp's beautiful. Okay. Put that back. And then I'll come in with my little rose. Right. I'll put my rose. Because mm. I want a few, a couple of these too. So if I put my rose here and I'm just taking them straight from the middle row so they're all like basically the same tone this way some more on there just to darken it up some more okay let's grab these I'm gonna push this this way some let's just push it all the way because I'm gonna just do three and that'll give me some space to put the die even though I don't need that much space Okay, so that's the purple, and let's get grab this one right here. Oh no, let's grab the rose. There. And I'm going to use. Oh no, you're going to use another one. Since this is so tiny, 
I'm going to use this. And I want to grab, which is all the way on the bottom row, a yellow. Okay. I barely ever use um, these stamp pads. yellow you can't even see that yellow okay so we're not gonna use yellow because I can't see it but we will use this orange this this dude, let's see how this orange will look mm, it's okay We'll use this orange. They're just going to be some accent flowers in our bouquet. And we'll put that. <laughs> you know what I did? I stamped right on off this edge. See that? I stamped it off the edge. That didn't work. Thus is the reason why I use... stamp pad most of the time. I'm holding it. I want to give it some pressure because yeah, it's not going to work. The thing is, the good thing about using the stamp pad, uh, stamp thingy whatever this thing is called is because you can get a darker see I got a nice darker See, this is good when you don't want to color in to have a few solid stamps. To have just a few solid stamps, all you have to do is stamp them and you have a design. Okay, so let's put this away. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away. And I'm gonna grab this one right here, this green. I'm gonna put that one right there. Let's see, the one thing about this, you have to cut all these out. I would take it to my scan and cut, um, but there's white spaces. So like there's white spaces, my skin and cut won't pick it up. So I'm, I'm gonna have to die cut these out, but I could die cut a, a bunch of them at a time, multiples at a time of each one once I cut them out. I mean, once I put the die tool on. sure how many of these I'll need but let's do a couple different ones how about that let's do this one There. And the thing that 
when you're doing this people don't tell you when they're actually doing it just this stuff takes a, a minute because you got to cut them all out okay, we'll put this green back and i'm gonna get a this tealy this is called smoke um what does it say smoke emerald just to give it a different color green Because all we get a chance to see is, um, oh, that's cute. All we ever get a chance to see is the finished pieces. And we like, oh, wow, I want that. And then we buy it. And then we don't realize that we have to do all these pieces individually. Like, it's going to be gorgeous. Of course it's going to be gorgeous. But you're going to have to stamp it five times to get all five pieces to go in that bouquet that you want to make. Which is the part that we forget about. And so, this video is 16 minutes. And all I've done was shown y'all the actual video. And st stamped out the pieces to... Um, I haven't even cut them out or made anything from it. So know that this is going to take some time when you do this kind of stuff, right? Okay. Let's, see. Let's clean this off. Okay, what else do I want to put in the bouquet? I need some stems. So which ones do I want? Or what is this? Oh, this goes here. Or do I want to put this in? Hmm, I didn't put this one back up. Do I want to put it? Do I want to put it in front of a vase? Um, let's put it in front of a vase. So, if we put it in front of a vase, we can color the vase. So, let's just put it in front of this vase. Is that going to be big enough? Mm. Do we have enough greenery? We only have four greenery pieces. Let's see do we have oh yeah here's another greenery piece because it's solid One more.
think we have a good variety that we can start with. Okay, let's put this back up. And we'll decide what base we want to put it in in a minute. So this is what we're, what we're looking at. So first thing, first things first, we need to. I'm gonna put this right here. Figure out which piece goes on what. So I don't think that's not even a piece that I picked. Let's see if this one is one. Yep, that's the one that goes there. I gotta put it closer to me so I can be able to see without putting my head in the viewfinder. I mean, uh, oh, this is okay. So that one, we need this small flower, which is we don't know where it's at. Maybe this will help. Nope, this will not help because it's all scattered about. So we gotta figure out what goes with what. Let's see if this one goes with this. Okay, let's see if that's right. Okay, and then this one, um, where are you? This one is, is this one. It's that one. Okay, so this is this one. Okay, and then this one is this one. Okay, what we gotta find is an unusual point. It would have been nice if they had some kind of identifying factor. That's got to be that because it's so many ridges. But what can we see on here? There's a thing, something going on right here. Hmm. got to be that one I don't know okay whichever one this one right here is it this one maybe it's this one I know y'all see it even it's not that one because it's not this one must be the first one I was that I thought it was. <clears throat> okay, so this one has to go here because that's where that point is, maybe. Um, nope. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is Scream loudly. <laughs> and 
frustration. Did I buy this and take it back because of this? Because this would drive me bananas and pajamas. What I will have to do is, which will probably be wise for everybody to do, is this exact thing. Store these with what they they look like. That might be a wise choice. To store them with what they look like. Um, I think this one is this one. Okay, I, I found them all except this one right here. Um, I'm at a loss. Which I, this is what it's gotta be it. It's just figuring out where where the special. Okay, these are three wide ones. This cannot. This is the only one it could be. I'm okay, I'm gonna pause y'all so y'all don't have to sit here and watch me struggle. Okay, I found it. <laughs> Talking about stressful. Okay, I'm gonna use my midi. Because it's wider. through with no problem See how this one, yep, perfect. Okay. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> no, how did I do that? <laughs> so I could do it again. did it so I could do it again. Um, how did I look at this? I figured out what the dip somewhere. What this was this it? No, this is a joke. How did I figure this out? That's how I figured it out. Okay, how I figured it out is there's a major dip right here. And the die has that dip, and that's how I figured it out. And it fits and tucks right in there. 
That's how I figured it out. Okay, let's take this one off. Do that one? I don't think I did. Oh, yes, I did. And you know what? If you don't want to deal with this headache, you can do the hinge method that um, VNA always showed you. What you do is you cut it out and then just stamp on top of it. using painter's tape which is sticky very sticky you know once you press it in there it's sticky okay Cutting out really nice. Hold on. Okay, so after I took that call, I just went on ahead and um, cut out the last few pieces, except this one because I could not find the ones I stamped out of it. <laughs> so I just left them alone. This one is not the right way, if you can see how it how it cut out wrong. The one thing that I don't like about these dies, and I can tell you that right off, is that they're not they're not what's the right word for it? You can't see them. You can't when you put the die down like this one. When I put it over it. You can't see because it's so thick. You can't see if it's right, so it's off a little bit. You can't see that it's off because it's on white. But see how it's off a little bit? That's the part I don't like, which is another reason why you should stamp more than one, more than you need. Um, this thing has a super grip. The suctions really work. Um, so also I'm missing one, this one, where are you? Did I throw you away? Y'all know I can't do a video without cousin. Oh, there go those orange ones. You know, I can't do a video without cousin and his barking. What time is it? Nope, not time for my husband to get off work yet. But you know he get the barking. He better be quiet. I'm going to wake my granddaughter up. He's going to be outside. That noise. Oh, no. I hate little pieces. I always lose them. I'll find it. Somewhere on this desk. Because I haven't moved. Oh, crap. Okay, anyway. Let's put this baby together. Cousin. Cousin. Cut it out before you wake up Parker. I'm frustrated because... Did I put it somewhere else? Nope, everybody got one except this one. Okay, <clears throat> anyway, now, the next thing I want to do is I want to build a 
flower arrangement. So, and then this flower arrangement can go on to anything. That's kind of the reason why you do more than what you need. Because you want to arrange your flowers. So we're going to put this like that. Mm, yeah, okay. Let's build from the bottom, maybe. No, we could build from the top. It's okay. Let's put these two together. Let's put this one on here. Let's tuck this one back there. Maybe this one right here. And then put our greenery on it. Um, let's put our green that's why I need that other color it's not enough color for me um, let's put this over here and, oh y'all can't see it <laughs> what I'm doing add some greenery right here and we'll put that that way um, let's put this greenery pointing towards this way let's move that up a little bit Um, let's take this one and how did I end up with oh I did have three of those two 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 let's move that up maybe put this one right there okay And then, um, is this too much greenery? Put this this way, move this over here. And let's put a piece of greenery down here. And put this on this side. Where is that little piece that I said didn't work? I could have tucked it somewhere. I lost it. But look at that. It's not spectacular. But this is how you kind of put it together. Right? Let's put you back over there some. And then we put the vase on. Let's stamp this vase out right quick. Let's just stamp it with a quick. Um. <laughs> Where's my? Oh. And then I this, what is this, uh, B41, and we're just going to just give it a little bit of color. You can't see that. I'm, I'm sorry.
dark. that oh you can't still can't see it okay jeez oh peace and then we're gonna take this uh r35 and we're gonna just make these go like that Okay, and then we have this face. And this is the, the face cutout piece. See, for this, because it's so shadowy, I don't know which way to go with it. To the right, to the left, whatever. Okay. have a few more days before January and I'm going to start my year of flowers see how it's off it's it's hard to tell sometimes hold on a minute okay sorry about that pause it was aggravating my inside of my spirit that I could not find that peace and guess where it was? Not lost, just not in the right spot. Okay. So, look at my little flower arrangement and my little vase. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up the flower arrangement with some, what you call them, uh, pop dots. So it can have a little dimension. And then put it on the vase. So I'm gonna reach here, and get some of these. Ugh. Ouch. Okay, so this piece I want it to be kind of flat on top of these two pieces. But these pieces I want to be ele elevated. Those two pieces, I want it to be elevated um, above that so it can look, have some dimension, okay? And maybe, let's see here, there, okay. So, I kind of want you all, like, right there. So, kind of, let's see, what did it catch? <laughs> okay. Then we catch the other pieces. So let's put a pop that right there. And pop that right there. So then it may catch the other pieces. Okay. Okay. 
okay you got them all except this one and then we'll just add a little tape on here and put this one right in there okay so now we have a fat a flower bouquet that has some dimension and then we're gonna add it to our little vase here okay and we're just gonna put that on there just like that so now we have a flower dimension <clears throat> but just think about it this is the thing I was talking about now we need to put it on something because you don't you're not gonna just make this for nothing so then you need a card front to put it on okay first of all that's backwards 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 do it this way now you so you need a card front to put it on so now you have to build your you have to build your design whatever that is going to be um this is six by six so let's get a six by six piece of paper i'm just pick up some rando paper i have some heartfelt paper right here let's look at the first pack is this clamen whatever and it's just happened to be the color scheme. They have six by six pieces back in the back. So let's just pull one out. I'm just pulling a random page. But sometimes that's what you got to do. You just got to just say, I want to craft something and I'm a rando craft, whatever it is. I found that piece. Did I tell you I did find that piece? It was in the wrong spot. Okay, let's. First things first, we're going to take this piece off so then we can cut it. Let's see how, which one would make the best sense. That one? Nope. That one. I like that one. What about this one? No. Let's see. No, I like this one the best. It frames it nicely. Okay, so... The one thing I love about this um, cutting thing is already at six. So if you just make sure this is closed and put it up against this, you're going to get a straight six by six cut. Okay. So now we have this six by six situation, which gives gives us a cute thing going on. But let's not stop there. So let's cut this down to uh, five and three fourths. Let's cut this down to five and three fourths like that. And then we're gonna grab just a piece of paper. Behind me. And let's see if I have some kind of pink that I can put behind here. That'll give it a little bit more color. What do you think? Yeah, I really don't like that. Let's see if I can find a yellow. Bounce off some of these flowers. Yes, let's do that. Okay, so then we're gonna do six. Six by six. six by six and this got texture on it okay did I not do six by six correctly oh I did is 
this card base not six by six? Six. Did I net, did not cut this a six by six square? No, I did not. Look at that. It's it's short. I got another piece of it. I must have didn't have it all the way. This one is not textured. I didn't have it all the way to the edge. There we go. That's a true six by six. And then we're gonna put this like that. And then we're gonna take our little thing and put that in the middle. And then all we gotta do is add a sentiment. See, the, the actual design can be really quick. It's the cutting out of all the tiny pieces that will take a long time to make a design work so let's put this on here and how long did this take me and this is not the true testament of time that it took me to do this because i stopped i had phone calls i looked for pieces that were missing i didn't cut some out right so just treat this as a fun time where you could just cut out some pieces and just cut out some pieces one day and then just use them. Don't, you know, stress out and be like, oh my God, this is whatever. This is really something you have to not try to do in a quick, fast, in a hurry situation. Especially if you got to find the pieces like I did that cuts out whatever. I also think that you should um, use the hinge method um, where you cut out the die cuts and then you st stamp them if you have a lot. Okay. Yeah. That's right. And then not upside down. And then we're going to take this piece and this is going to be flat on there like that and oh you know what this is going to be flat too so I'm just going to add a little tape because that is popped up all right and so now we made a flower bouquet card that's dimensional, super cute. Um, so just like really take your time and build up your um, pieces, cut them out, sit in color and enjoy yourself and create something beautiful. Now all I have to do is put a sentiment on here. Maybe I can grab a bow I'm just gonna tie this I'm just gonna tie this in a knot this is just some rando ribbon that just happened to be on my desk that I was gonna use for something else and I never made it to doing a video for it all the pieces are still sitting on my desk forever I could not make bows and it's amazing that I could just do it off rip cuff like that i'm just it's it's amazing to me i fought making bows for super a long time because i just couldn't get them done right now i could just make them <laughs> okay i'm gonna put that right there I think that should go there. 
We don't want no random old boulder somewhere. So let's. There. <laughs> Super cute with the bow. It needed just something else. It's just something else. And so I love that these have some movement. And then let's let's get us a little sparkle and a twinkle. go with it now since I put it in on there we're gonna go with it purple off let's get some glitter on the green put some on here just to give this something else what ink did I use for these quick dries so why are they so touchy I don't know but there we go now we got a little glitter and gloss on them voila I think it turned out great. My little vase look a little shabby, but this is just a demo. Nobody's getting this card. And I also could just go and take that off if I really wanted to do something with it. But look at that. I think it turned out beautiful. All we got to do is add a sentiment on it, and we good to go. So, I just wanted you to see what I was doing. I want you to introduce you to this. They still have this on HSN. If you like these pieces and parts... Uh, Look, you see the resemblance of kind of what I was going for? That's what I was kind of going for. <laughs> and that's all you got to do. Take some inspiration from what you see. And this is the 117 piece Build a Bouquet. So when you need some kind of flower something, you have this to use. Um, I'm waiting for... Something will come in the mail. Did it come in the mail already? Did I already show y'all that? Um, I must have. Yeah, I had to. Because my midi is here. The bouquet, I just got a, a, a bouquet set from um, the other people. So my next video, I'm going to show you the December um, Spellbinder sh Kit of the Month. I don't know why I get mine so late. It's really weird. I don't know. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see y'all in the next one.